to contest and win war rapid force mobilization is utmost requirement of any air force to boost its capabilities indian air force inducted first of its 56 medium tactical transport aircraft in presence of defense minister rajnath singh air chief marshal v r choudhry and mos civil aviation general v k singh at hindan air force station in ghaziabad on 25th september the aircraft unveiled amid full media glare in presence of large number of air warriors at the hangar after two sliding screens bearing 11 squadron pioneers of C295MW Rhinos the trailblazer of C295MW and image of the newly inducted aircraft moved sideways at first sight aircraft was shrouded in white smoke one horned rhino is the emblem of squadron number 11 which is based at Vadodara the motto of the squadron is vishambhara pranadaha meaning supporters of the universe thereafter rajna singh and other ministers performed puja and sarva dharma puja was performed by different priests of different religions <laughs> India in September 2021 signed a deal of around 22000 crores with Airbus Defence and Space SA Spain for 56 C295MW transport aircraft to replace the IAF's aging 748 Avro aircraft that were procured in the 1960s. Chief of Air Staff Air Chief Marshal V R Choudhury received the first C295MW at Airbus's civil plant in Spain on 13th September. 16 of these aircraft will come in flyaway conditions by 2026 and rest 40 will be built by Tata Advanced Systems Limited facility in Vadodara. This will boost private Indian defense manufacturing industry in India. The manufacturing plant spread in 1.2 million square meters in Vadodara is likely to be fully operational by November 2024 while the first made in India C295 aircraft is expected to roll out in 2026. Gujarat plant will be the first full production assembly line of Airbus outside Spain that will churn out 12 aircraft every year. Today is a momentous day for the Indian Air Force and also for our squadron. As the commanding officer of number 11 squadron, the first transport squadron to be raised in independent India, it is a matter of immense honor for me to stand before you all on this historic occasion. of induction of the C295 aircraft into the Indian Air Force Ladies and gentlemen 11th squadron has an inspiring and rich legacy that spans generations Our squadron was raised over 7 decades ago in 1951 at Barakpur with 10 Dakota aircraft One Ron Hyde one Ron Rhino was chosen as our emblem symbolizing our strength resilience an unwavering commitment to our mission our motto vishwambara pranada which means sustainers of the universe reflects our core at heart it is a source of great pride for us that our squadron has served the country with distinction in war as well as during peace time our unit also has a proud distinction of being an integral part of the tangel block in 1971 war Arrival of C295 heralds a new era in IAF tactical airlift capability. The aircraft is the best in its class in terms of capability, reliability, versatility, and economy of operation. It is destined to give IAF air mobility potential a significant boost. This versatile aircraft shall empower us to execute a wide range of missions. 
from air transport operations to humanitarian assistance and disaster relief. The aircraft embodies the spirit of Atmanirbhar Bharat, aimed at making India self-reliant and capable of meeting its own defence needs. 40 of these aircraft will be manufactured right here in India under the Make in India initiative. The strategic partnership between Tata Advanced Systems Limited and Airbus Defence and Space signifies the convergence of global expertise with indigenous manufacturing. Today, we mark a new beginning and we do so with gratitude, pride and new sense of purpose. Together with the new C295 as a symbol of our strength and resilience, we shall continue to defend our country with honour and touch the sky with glory. According to sources, six Indian Air Force pilots and 20 maintenance crew have been trained at the facility in civil. Three more batches of maintenance crew will go for training in 2024. The website of the aircraft manufacturer Airbus mentions that the transport aircraft can perform missions that range from carrying troops and cargo, maritime patrol, airborne warning, surveillance and reconnaissance to signals intelligence, armed close air support, medical evacuation, VIP transport and airborne firefighting. The aircraft which is capable of carrying up to 9 tons of payloads or as many as 71 troops. So here you can see C-295 finally inducted by Raksha Mantri Rajnath Singh into Indian Air Force. It will be part of the Rhinos squadron, squadron number 11. So this is the pride of India at the moment. Total 56 C-295 would be inducted in Indian Air Force. 40 would be in India by Tata Advanced Systems and 16 would come from Spain in flyaway conditions. It has a seating capacity of 71 personnel. So finally, goodbye to Abro and hi to C-295. So finally, this would empower our air warriors and this would be multi-purpose aircraft which can be used not only for the transportation but for other purposes also. At a maximum cruise speed of 260 knots is likely to boost IAF capability of rapid force deployment. C-295 MW is capable of air-to-air -air refueling of fixed wing aircraft and helicopters. According to Airbus data, the aircraft is fitted with a retractable landing gear that features an unobstructed 12.69 meter long pressurized cabin. The C-295 cruises at altitudes up to 30,000 feet and saves fuel, capable of short takeoffs and landing as tall. Performance from unpaved soft and sandy grass airstrips in unmatched in this category. The C-295 transport is powered by two Pratt & Whitney Canada PW-127G turboprop engines that provide excellent maneuverability, outstanding hot and high performance with fuel consumption for a very long endurance of up to 13 hours aloft. With more than 200 aircraft in operation, the C-295 operators have logged a combined 5 lakh flight hours in all types of environment. The workhorse can offer unique versatility and reliability for the needs of military forces, governments and non-governmental agencies in near future. Armed forces of Afghanistan, Chad, Iraq, Brazil, Colombia, Egypt, Algeria, Poland, Finland and Kazakhstan have flown the aircraft. According to Airbus website, the fully integrated tactical system of C-295 core mission system enables the transport aircraft to carry out duties that range from anti-submarine and anti-sub warfare to search and rescue, maritime patrol, signals intelligence and environmental protection and much more. Advanced cockpit technology, the C-295's state-of-the-art cockpit allows a full range of operations to be performed by a crew of two members including one captain and one co-pilot. It is fitted with Collins Aerospace Proline Fusion which is a commercial off-the-shelf avionic system that complies with current and future airspace regulations. The avionic system include four 14.1 inches multifunctional touchscreen displays with a very large surface area and an intuitive and redundant human-machine interface for improved situational awareness. 
Other features include reconfigurability of the screens, electronic charts and checklist as well as system status reports. The cockpit is compatible with night vision Google's. All in all, the aircraft can help both defense forces and civil agencies in varying circumstances. So what do you think of this aircraft? Do write your feedback in the comment box. If you are new to national defense, please subscribe. Subscription is absolutely free. If you want to support and watch some exclusive content, you may consider joining as member or can also support via Patreon. The link is www.patreon.com slash national defense. Thanks for watching. Jai Hind. Vande Matram.